Hey everybody, so in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a healthy what I eat in a day, plus giving you all the recipes so that you can make these dishes too. So let's get right on into it. It is currently 9.15 and I am just about to make my breakfast. Strawberry coconut smoothie. Starting in your blender, put one banana, then add one cup of frozen strawberries. I love these strawberries so much because they're like sliced and come up super flat. I don't know why, but that's just so satisfying. So yeah, take about like a cup of that. I know it's a bit more, but whatever. Then get out some sweetener. You can use honey, maple syrup. Put in like a tablespoon of that. Now note that like the sweetness of the strawberry and banana is already gonna make it really sweet. Then I'm gonna add in silk. Oh no, that's the brand. Coconut temptingly tropical. <laughs> yeah, whatever that is. About a cup. Just like so. Beautiful. Okay. I used to hate coconuts, like detest the flavor of them, but now it's growing on me and I actually really like it now. <laughs> now it is time to blend your smoothie. Okay, once you're done that, you can now transfer it into a cup. Pour that in. And that's my breakfast for today. Strawberry coconut smoothie. See y'all at lunchtime. Okay, so I just came back from the gym not too long ago and I'm really hungry, so let's go ahead and make lunch. Today I decided on making BLT rice cakes. The ingredients that you will need are two rice cakes, tomatoes, lettuce, and of course, the best part, bacon. First thing that I'm gonna do is prep all of my ingredients. Now I'm gonna move on to the bacon. I'm gonna place my bacon onto the pan. Sorry about the background noise, but while that's sizzling away, I'm going to prep the other ingredients. Keeping an eye on it to make sure like I don't burn it or anything. Cutting board. Oh, I'm gonna slice these up into thinnish slices so that I can put it on the rice crispy. Or shoot, <laughs> so that I can put it on the rice cake, not crispy. Okay guys, I think it's time to flip the bacon. Now I'm just gonna put it in here that like, I am i don't really know what I'm doing. I kind of do, but like at the same time, I'm not a professional and I am not, like maybe this is like the third time I've ever cooked bacon. Ooh, oh my gosh. Okay, these two got like stuck together. Why is it yellow? Can someone tell me why that's yellow? Or is it just like fat or something? Okay, so I think after that's done cooking, I'm gonna cook like two more slices. After they're in the oil, they like start to shrink. And you know, I want some like meat to my thing because I'm not using normal bread. I need to like add something to give it volume. Which is why <laughs> that perfectly leads us into the next section of prepping the lettuce. You know, this lettuce is gonna be adding volume, crunch, flavor. Actually not that much flavor, but whatever just two leaves of lettuce and I'm gonna wash that and put it on a plate. Oh shoot, I was like not even looking at the bacon and I'm looking over now, these pieces are like this big. Guys, take a look at this bacon. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna cook like three, four more pieces. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get over why this shrunk so much. Half of the <laughs> That's how you know guys, that there was like no meat and all fat on these things because they just, Sure wrong. Okay, I'm gonna transfer this onto a plate. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cook up three more of these bacon. I might as well just call it bacon fat. Like, I kid you not. Look at that, literally half of it's fat. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me over the sizzling, but I'm gonna take the lettuce, wash it, and then put it onto this plate. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this up. I'm gonna put this aside and all we have left is to just wait for the bacon to finish cooking. We've brought in everything else prepped. Okay, now it's time for assembly. Starting with the bacon, I'm just going to pat it dry. 
holy moly look at that that is all just like oil that came off of the bacon on your two rice cakes start with lettuce on the bottom i think i made way too much of literally everything and then i'm gonna go and add the tomato and last but not least let's add the bacon Okay, and there you have it, my BLT on rice cakes. Okay, let's do a quick taste test. Mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was so, so good. I love it because the bacon makes it crispy, the tomato makes it like moist, and then the lettuce adds like volume to the bite. Okay guys, see y'all next time I eat food. Okay guys, so it is 5.50 and I'm now gonna start on dinner. Tonight's recipe is rice, chicken, and broccoli. Guys, it does not get healthier than that. <laughs> first things first, we're going to get our rice slow cooking because you know, I always do the most time consuming thing first. So then the rest of the process is just quick and easy. Starting with getting out your rice cooker. I understand mine's Kind of broken um you can oops you can cook with a regular pan or like pot but slow cooking is just so much simpler and you just let it cook plug it in add in as much rice as you want next add in your water instead of measuring out like the ratio between the water and the rice i'll just tell that by going about half an inch so i think it's about like that much water above rice level turn this on while the rice is cooking, let's go ahead and make the chicken. Okay, so basically this morning, I already knew I was going to make chicken to make sure it was defrosted by now because it was in the freezer. I put it in cold water and yeah. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is take the chicken out of the bag and lay it on this cutting board. My mom already pre-cut the chicken. All I have to do is season this stuff up and pan cook it. My two favorite seasonings at the moment are the rotisserie chicken and the taco al pastor. Hopefully I'm not butchering that too much. So yeah, I'm gonna cook half of them with rotisserie, half with the taco one. As you can probably tell, I have way more chicken out than I need for tonight, which is perfect because I'm gonna meal prep and make extra. So yeah, I've done one side, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other. I don't know if we're supposed to massage it in, but like I'm going to just to make sure that the seasoning is all over the chicken and not just like in one spot. Oh, this one's gonna be my favorite, I can just tell. Time to move on to the cooking. Going over to the stove, I'm gonna put the heat a little bit below high and add some olive oil to the pan. Ooh, hear that, hear that, hear that. <laughs> gonna let that cook up over there. I'm also gonna take out a plate to put the finished chicken on. Okay, they are so perfect right now, I'm gonna flip them. Oh, oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, while that chicken's sizzling away, I'm going to cut up my broccoli to boil. These ones are done. I'm now gonna go on and cook the rest. For my broccoli, I'm going to boil water and then after they're boiled, put them in to cook them. And this is my dinner for today. If you guys enjoyed all these recipes, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.